Less than 24 hours after one of the most shocking moments in Oscar history, Will Smith apologizes to Chris Rock. But here's the question, is it enough? Welcome to Entertainment Tonight. Nichelle Turner is off today. The aftershocks of the slap still being felt all over Hollywood, but it's clear the comedy world, oh, they're overwhelmingly Team Rock. I was sickened. I was sickened by the standing ovation. I felt like Hollywood is just spineless, en masse. No one lifted a finger. Spider-Man was there. <laughs> Aquaman was there. Catwoman, all sitting on their hands. That is the worst thing Will Smith has ever done. Wait, I forgot about Wild Wild West. Wild Wild West. Even Kanye was like, you went on stage and did what in a award show? We don't talk about Jada, no, no. I had announced this morning that I was suing Will for $200 million, because that video is going to be there forever. It's going to be ubiquitous. What's been happening behind closed doors at the Smith family compound? A source tells ET, Will does not regret sticking up for Jada, but he does have remorse for how he went about it. He acted out of impulse. Jada, meanwhile, was hurt by Chris's remark, making fun of her appearance. This morning, she called for healing on Instagram. And just last week, in a TikTok video captioned, be proud of your crown, she said she fully embraced her beautiful bald look. I don't give two craps what people feel about this bald head of mine, because guess what? It. Publicly, Will apologized to Chris for the onstage slap. In a statement, the Oscar winner said he was out of line, wrong, and embarrassed. But despite Will's mea culpa, a source tells ET that Chris and Will have not patched things up. Also weighing in, Will's mom, who told the ABC affiliate in Philadelphia she was surprised. That's the first time I've ever seen him go off. The first time in his lifetime. This morning, Will's daughter Willow wrote, you know who's going through a lot right now? Literally everyone. Richard Williams, the father of Venus and Serena Williams, who Will portrayed in King Richard said, quote, we don't condone anyone hitting anyone else unless it's in self-defense. Today, we're also learning more about the chaos that unfolded behind the scenes. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. A source tells ET, having Will removed was definitely discussed seriously. The reason people got up and went over to him is because I think a lot of people thought, oh my God, is he having a break? Is it, do we need to get him out? What do we need to do? We're also told people were checking that Chris Rock was okay and to see if Chris even wanted to press charges. I like that they go, well, Chris Rock didn't press any charges. Why does Chris Rock have to press charges? So what's next for Will? Well, we could learn that tomorrow when the Academy, including Whoopi Goldberg, who's on the Board of Governors, meets to discuss his fate. There are consequences. Yeah. There are big consequences. There has to be. E.T. has spoken with three Academy members. They told us they would not vote to take Will's Oscar away. Experts point out the Academy has not revoked Oscar wins for even the most disgraced winners, like Harvey Weinstein and Roman Polanski. Down to the timeline leading up to the Oscar slap. Will and Chris go way back and first worked together nearly 30 years ago. Now which one of you handsome men is Big Willie? <laughs> In 1995, Chris was a guest star on The Fresh Prince playing Will's blind date, Jasmine. I hear they have nude beaches. In 1999, Chris and Will reunited at the premiere of The Matrix. A lot of action. Can you fight? Uh, I can fight in the movies very well. Out here in the street, no. Who could kick whose butt? Everybody thinks he's apple pie. Do not get it twisted, all right? Uh-uh, no, no, no. I just, uh, just try to make sure my honey's taken care of. Hi, officer. Six years later, in 2005, Jada and Chris were the ones cast together in Madagascar. Let's not talk about that. Woo! OK, Chris, all right now. The two appeared to be on good terms while doing press and even presented Will with a Kids' Choice Award. Nothing but love, y'all. Then came 2016, when then-host Chris skewered Jada for boycotting the Oscars. Jada says she's not coming. Protest, I'm like, is she on a TV show? It's also not fair that Will was paid 20 million for Wild Wild West, okay? Any thoughts on that? On Chris Rock? Hey, look, it comes with the territory, but we gotta keep it moving. And throughout it all, Will and Jada always had each other's backs. Jada and I have, you know, we weathered some storms. We have 
found so much happiness in our union yep. mm -hmm. in a way that's very different than most. No doubt their 24-year marriage is unconventional. Jada calls Will her life partner, not husband. They have also faced rumors of having an open marriage. But you're getting divorced again. Am I? No and I ring. don't have a ring on? Oh, it must be true. Basically, they're like, oh, well, he has an open relationship. That's, that's not exactly it. The pact that we have made to one another is that I will deliver myself to her happy, and she will deliver herself to me happy. In 2020, Jada did admit to a years-long extramarital relationship with R&B singer August Alsina. As time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement mm -hmm. with August. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> Yes. A relationship. Yes, it was a yeah. relationship, absolutely. While it remains to be seen how the Oscar assault will affect Will's career, prices for Chris's Ego Death World Tour have surged from around $46 to more than $400 per ticket. The comedy tour kicks off tomorrow in Boston.